Greetings friends and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel preferably you are fine like before enormous news for dinar just dropped I by and large endeavor my best to give you the revived information so this video is about the latest announcement of the Iraqi dinar RV. Hit become involved with stay informed and comment Iraq's economic landscape has undergone significant changes over recent years, and these developments raise intriguing questions about the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Historically, the dinar's valuation of $3.22 was largely tied to Iraq's oil revenues. At that time, the value was predominantly supported by the country's oil exports with little consideration given to other sources of revenue. This oil-centric valuation model made sense when oil was Iraq's primary economic driver and the dominant factor in its currency's worth. However, the current economic scenario presents a much more complex picture. Iraq is not only earning substantial income from its oil sector but is also generating significant revenue from a diverse range of non-oil sources. These additional revenue streams include revenues from phosphates, sulfur, liquid natural gas, taxes, and tourism. Each of these sectors contributes to Iraq's overall economic strength and stability. When considering the cumulative impact of these diverse revenue sources, the argument for re-evaluating the dinar's value becomes compelling. Adding these non-oil revenue streams into the equation provides a more comprehensive view of Iraq's economic capacity. For instance, Iraq's phosphate and sulfur reserves are valuable commodities with considerable market demand. Similarly, the extraction and sale of liquid natural gas represent a growing sector that enhances Iraq's energy portfolio, tax revenues and tourism, while perhaps less significant in the short term offer long-term economic benefits and diversification away from reliance on oil. Given this broader economic base, one might reasonably question why Iraq would revert to the old valuation of $3.22 per dinar. The inclusion of these additional revenue sources provides robust support for a potentially higher valuation. The economic argument suggests that if Iraq's financial health is bolstered by diverse income streams, the dinar could arguably be worth more than it was based solely on oil revenues. The question of whether Iraq will return to or exceed the $3.22 valuation is a pertinent one. While the historical valuation was tied to oil, the modern economic landscape suggests that a higher valuation could be justified. The integration of multiple revenue sources into the equation supports this possibility. Yet, the exact future valuation remains uncertain. Factors such as global market conditions, regional stability, and Iraq's economic policies will play crucial roles in determining the dinar's value. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these points, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Until next time, take care and stay informed.